Hi everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. I got another request, Mineros. I know it's a Colombian miner, but other than that, I have never looked at it. So maybe it's time to look at it. So the share price down 35%. So something is wrong with this company. Uh, let's see. So as always, we need to get this NPV flow chart created. So let's start with the share count. We look at the presentation, probably something will be in here. Fully diluted shares. And the share price is at okay, so it's in, in Canadian dollars zero point six five um, Canadian dollars. Let's do it in US dollars and divide by one point three two. So we have a market cap of 150 million US dollars. That's possible. Let's look at the balance sheet. Do they have cash? We can already see here finance expense is 4.2 million dollars. Okay, 4.2 million dollars. We can add that here. Times four. So quite a lot of debt. That's 16 million per year. That's pretty high. Uh, yes, high interest payments. Net profit positive. That's good. Then balance sheet. For the balance sheet, we have two, three, six million assets, current assets. Two, three, six million. That's pretty high. And liabilities. Liabilities two fifty, but a lot of them are provisions. Maybe let's say two hundred. Two hundred liabilities. So all in all, it's uh, one hundred and ten million enterprise value okay 
now let's take a look at production. Oh, they also have Nechi Laie, which is what Soma Gold had. Interesting. Uh, production is 280,000. Let's say 270,000. That's a very high production. All in cost is one thousand four hundred fifty. Let's say one thousand five hundred, just to be sure. That's a very high cost, which is not good. But anyway, it's it's actually pretty cheap. So this is from Colombia, which is the cheapest, 1,200 all in cost. Argentina is not doing well. Nicaragua is also pretty high cost. Okay. So far it's looking good. Dividend 13%. Also good. Um, if you look at this net cash around 100 million yeah that's around 100 million so I'm not sure why this company is so cheap it doesn't make any sense Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Enterprise value to earnings. High gold production. So what's the problem? So this Nicaragua should have 13 year mine life, not bad. Colombia, I don't see any mine life here. Argentina, 
which is the worst mine being wound down over the next two years. So this one could drop off. 2000 What's this? Is this two points? Is this two thousand or two million ounces? Let's check the Let's check the mineral reserves. Okay, what's it called? Gualcamayo. Gualcamayo. Has two million ounces. That's a high resource. Nechi has one million. Two million, two million ounces. But the great, why is the great zero point zero five? Doesn't make any sense. No idea. Nicaragua. Was producing one hundred twenty five thousand So there is some initial capex of 166 million for Nicaragua. So let's already add that here. To extend the production.
interesting. I don't understand Nechi and Laie actually. Looks consistent, uh, the production eighty thousand. Yeah, Argentina looks like the the problem child. Sixty thousand production. DCP projects. Okay, so those, this 2 million is actually most DCP related and in two years this guacamo is going to wind down over the next two years. So expect this production to fall off, 60,000 will fall off. So let's delete 60,000 from this. Then it looks uh, a bit less interesting. Uh, and they don't know how to bring this DCP in production yet. So I think it's worth nothing at this time in Argentina. Okay, so, so this is going to fall off, which means that we only have these two mines that would be an AISC of around let's say 1400 then. So from here on out I can get my 1400. Nechilaye um, Not sure what my life is for Nechi and Laie because I don't understand what this 0 0.05 means. How can the grade be so low? With 1 million ounces, 600, 600 million tons.
let's see if they have anything else on that property Oh, this is a dredge production. Five bucket dredges. Life of mine of 13 years. 13 years. Interesting. So it's not a conventional mine. It's something else. Okay, so it's 13 year my life. Let's say 13. until Okay. But look at the costs. Eight hundred, one thousand, one thousand, one hundred, one thousand, two hundred, two hundred. Something is wrong here. The costs are rising for this operation. So the costs are rising. Why? Yeah, this is interesting. Why are the costs rising? We need to understand what what the costs are for this process. Diesel costs. Yeah, maybe we should add some cost inflation to that. Just to be sure. Because the costs are rising. Then this Nicaragua thing.
what's the mine life on Nicaragua? We have 200,000 ounces plus 1 million with a lower grade. So one, one to two million ounces. I think this could have 10 year mine life. Yep. 10 year mine life. But 200,000, yeah, 200,000 at four grams per ton. And then it drops a lot to three grams, grams per ton. So costs are going to rise here. This can only be mined for two years. So, and then they will go to a lower grade. So yes, 10 years mine life probably, but lower production probably and higher costs so how are we going to do that um, production will probably drop by 20 percent and costs up 20 percent because lower production and same costs let's try to Put a value on that. Our model will be in two years we will see production down by 20%. So this will so 270,000 wait this has only 120 so let's say minus 20,000 minus 20,000 yes So minus 20,000 from this here. So we now only have 190,000 production. Costs will go up a bit from here on out. So let's say 1,500 with an increment of $20 maybe. So it's going to be a high cost mine this very high cost mine production going down so what are they going to do in Nicaragua near-term production growth from Porvenir Satellite Deposits. What is the grade? Porvenir grade, let's see. The grade is three grams per ton. Two 0.35 grams per ton so lower grade and lower grade 
yes great is going to go down yeah currently they're mining 4 to 4.8 and the great is going to go down to 3 here 4 3.6 and they want to bring parvenue online with a grade of three dollars so yeah production is going to drop by 20 percent if they use the same mill i don't know and costs will go up i don't know by how much but it's going to go up and they're doing it with the capex of 166 million One hundred sixty-six million. Um, do they have the cash? I think so. They can do this with their cash flow. Okay, what is the capex? Not sure what the capex is currently. I need to know what the capital expenditures are. Let's see if they can tell me that. This is interesting. They have net cash flow of 17 million but free cash flow is only 234 why why is the free cash flow so low EBITDA I need to know net free cash flow. Yeah, not sure. They don't tell me. They don't tell me anything. Well, I could, I could just look at this net cash flow from operating activity and free cash flow only 17. So let's say 10 million per quarter, 10 million per quarter of CapEx. 
Yeah, here, 10 million. Ten million per quarter. Okay, so that will be. Is this in US dollars? Probably in US dollars. Yeah, they always use US dollars. So forty million in capex here. This plus. 40 million and we will okay this is the picture for you i think mineros has problems mineros has problems with production coming down lower grades um, a lot of capex apparently interest is pretty high not sure why 16 million interest they have why is it 16 million interest because they have 300 million debt yeah they have quite a lot of debt quite a lot of capex um, earnings are not that great 50 million 50 million earnings so you have 50 million net cash from operating activities because they have a lot of capex so this is operating activities and then minus the capex then we only have 50 million PE of 2, okay, but the problem is this production is going to keep dropping because of lower grades, because of Argentina that's being closed down, costs going higher and higher. So this looks cheap, but actually isn't. A lot of capex coming online here to build to build this this uh, Nicaragua asset, extend the mine life there. So I'm not convinced to buy this company. So that was the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.